Welcome back to another product review, and today I'm going to take a look at the Art of Disney Encanto. Big fan of the movie, I haven't opened the book yet. This is just freshly unwrapped. Here is the back and front, you can see the spine. Let's take the protective covering off. We have this here. This is the book without the cover. We have the candle here, spine and back. Let's open it up here. All right, the art of Disney. Encanto full spread here. Chronicle book, San Francisco with the contents. Already liking that style. I mean, I have a feeling that this is going to be pretty awesome. Forward here. It takes a family to make a family. Nice. Nice, cute. Oh, I love these already. Come on. That's cool. File of inspiration. Bit of a intro. Early character explorations here. Family of collaboration. Wow, these are cool. Super cool. Love these. Ooh, yes. This is going to end up being less of a book page through than a reaction video. Got some boards. Always love seeing these. <laughs> nice. I love these type of character driven storytelling early sketches. Ooh, we got colors for costumes. There's Miracle, El Canto. You got the exploration of the different environments here. Plans, surroundings, cool. Then we're going the Abuela. You go with the first character. Nice. <laughs> the grumpy, grumpy looking here. Oh, these are cool. Love this. Casita. So you have the, I'm pretending that I'm pronouncing this correctly. We got the house inside magic rooms and doors that's cool Ooh, i love these that's really neat love this at the edge here and then a house of magical realism that's really cool i see this here and i feel like oh man this would be really cool to animate just going from place to place with the creatures flying there towards the door that's what I always love about books like these is then you, you kind of look at a set environment and then you place your characters in there and think about stuff like this in terms of like biomechanics. You see only this and not the character and you think about, well, what could I animate within this environment? That would be cool. That's frequently the way I try to find ideas for shots. Cute. Love it. That's cool. Look at that one. I love that one. <laughs> that turtle is awesome. Boards. Inside and the outside of the house. Ooh. Props and the floor. That's cool. That's cool, of course. Love this. Monsters Inc. <laughs> Maybe. Mirabel and her family. Cute. Nice. Love this. That's the stuff that I love. The different character explorations. Face and the body. Different types. It's cool. Nice, that's cool too. I mean, it's basically the summary of all this is going to be this is cool and this is awesome and this is nice, but I do love this. This is why I get these art books. This is not just looking at, you know, storyboards and character development in terms of the movie, but for me, this is always a source of inspiration of better posing, you know, facial expressions, or even like that as a composition. Like that to me could be scan this and now this is the setup of your next shot. You got one character. Two other characters, like one person maybe doing something dramatic, they're very excited, the other one's not really, they have their hands a bit more together, but leaning away from that character, they're not engaging, stuff like that. So to me, this would be mental bookmark, or you take a photo and put this in your in your reference folder. Like that would be an interesting setup for three characters. <laughs> nice. Really like all the characters in the movie, I have to say. There's a cool variety in what they're doing, you know, how they perceive things and what their problems are, and you think that they're perfect or not. Cool to see boards. That's cool. I always love color keys. Maybe Isabella. That's great. See, that's another source of inspiration where you can look at, besides hand poses and general posing, also face, facial expressions. Like that to me, again, would be save this. Something like, that's cool with the plant. Save that into your reference folder. Posing of hair, 
You know, if you do have a character that has hair that you can animate, facial expressions, hand poses, it's cool. Mm, got color keys just for her. Nice, cool hair. Stuff like that, even that little interaction like this, bam. Reference folder, nice pose there too. Cool pose, come on. Such a Disney, Disney face. I love it. See that, just that posture. And then the hand poses. <laughs> this is great. Great hand pose there too. It's the extended family. Nice. We don't talk about Bruno. Oh, these are awesome. That's cool. Nice different styles. He's super cute too. <laughs> nice, love that. Look at that pose, look at that. That pose with the kid on top and then still another creature on top there. How cool is that? Like that's your setup of a shot, come on. Very cool. Ooh, yeah, animals. Same thing again, posing. It's different designs, facial expressions. <laughs> Look at that, great. And this is why I love art of books. Especially this, right? You get little sketches, you get little different types of versions. Then you got costume turnarounds, character turnarounds. That's great too. Again, cool setup for interaction. Interaction stuff is very difficult in CG. It's contact and everything. That could be a cool setup for a shot. <laughs> Boards. Ah, uh, we don't talk about Bruno. These are cool. <laughs> Crazy. Totally different look. That was a cool sequence too. See again, this goes into ah. Imagine you have something like this in your scene here. All the props. You have just that, and then you give you a character like, okay, do whatever you want to do. A test within this environment. Interact with anything you want in here. <gasps> that would be so cool. The whole community here, the town. That's cool too. Love this style here. The cars, more doors, more the village, some of the outside parts of townspeople. Costume explorations, doing variants. More creatures, poses. Nice face. So cool. The new miracle. Spoiler. Nice. I remember that. Cool poses there. <sighs> like that. The lines of the feet are great. This is something I always love when you see either it's like a render or an animation play blast and you got the drawers with notes. I always love this. Got your nice hand poses there. The cloth simulation and the hair simulation in the movie is absolutely insane. The detail, just the way it flowed, like the heaviness of it, didn't feel all super light and, and silky. It's just good weight to it. So cool. That is cool. Creepy. Spoiler towards the end. Again, that is for your expressions and your poses, facial expressions. Great. Reference, 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 the end song. Cinematography, lighting, and layout. Look at that, awesome. The new miracle. And you have the butterflies, and then the new house. Acknowledgements, and then here is the end. Last page, nice. That's cool, so much work. Last page here. And that's the end of the book. There you go. That is the art of, and that is the sleeve as I've shown before. There you go. That is the page of the book. And I just read online that there is a link available for the free art of version, but it's for a limited time only. So if you're watching this review and that link is gone, well, there you go. This is what the book 
will give you and hopefully that will be a motivation to get it. I don't know, let me know. Let me know in the comments if you got it and what you think about that. I do more reviews like these. I do animation lectures, do a bunch of stuff. There was no pitch at the beginning. It's a slight pitch at the, at the end here. So check it out. Check out my channel. If you like this, you can subscribe if you want. If not, that's also okay. Maybe I'll convince you later, but that is it for the review. And hopefully I'll see you in my next upload.